Here's a chart of the FT100 from 1994, and at that point it was actually at 3,500 points. Now, in the Insurance Industry Act, you only allowed a quote for 5% or 9%, but when I first took out my pension, one of the pensions in 92, a uh, salesman at the time was quoting 20 30% growth, and obviously he'd retire with loads of money. Just interesting to see what's happened with the FT. Uh, since 1994, that's a date there, it started on 3,500 and that's the graph as it actually goes up and it comes down and it goes up and it comes down. Now the date it actually did this was on the 26th of the 6th, uh, 08 and at that point um, the stock market it was about 5,500 points. Obviously in the last few weeks it's come way down under 5,000 come back up again. But the interesting thing, what I've done is put one red line on there, that's actually showing growth of 5%, uh, the industry, uh, insurance industry's lowest average, and the green line is showing the growth of uh, 9%, which goes completely off the scale. Um, so at 5%, uh, the FT should be at 7,200, and at 9%, it's something like the FT100 should be about 12,500 points to give you 9% growth. Now, the thing about this is that fund managers, uh, very few can actually beat the FT100. There's a, there's a few that can, but how do you find the pick the ones that do? That's the thing to do. Uh, so, my logic now is it's a complete waste of time investing at all in the stock market via pensions, via PEPs, or ISAs, or whatever because you cannot actually sort of beat the market unless you're lucky enough to just hit the right fund manager and it's like really throwing a dart in a, in a, in a board and seeing which comes out uh, the best. Now I've had, a, I've had a pep since early in the 92, 92 and the money I've put into that hasn't even got me money back. It's now below if it would have been better just sit, sitting in the building society at pathetic interest rate and it would be actually more growth out of that. Uh, the pension is, is actually not the same because I, I, I actually pulled out at the top of the market, so at the minute I've got it all sitting in cash where it's nice and safe at the minute. Um, obviously don't intend to go back into the market at the present time with everything that's going on. Now what I'm going to show you is a much more exciting option of what you can do a way to invest your money. Here's some interesting facts. If you had £48,000 in the bank at 5%, that would give you £200 a month. Um, just off the interest, that's what you get. If you had 144,000 sticking in the bank, that will give you at 5% 600 pound. 192,000, that will give you 800 pound a month. 240,000, 1,000 pound a month. 480,000, uh, 2,000 pound a month. And 1.2 million would give you 5,000 pound a month. Now, how many people do you know have got that kind of spare cash sitting in the bank? Not very many. But I'm just going to show you a very exciting option of what can actually achieve that kind of income. With our opportunity, if you can find just six people to who's looking to make an extra income, uh, who are prepared a little work at it over a period of time, just them six active people would give you way over £200 a month, which is equivalent to £48,000 in a month. So it's equivalent to having £48,000 sitting in the bank. Now, how hard is it to find six people who want to make an extra income, compared to how hard is it going to invest to put a lot of money away for a pension. Now just think about that, just finding finding them six people. Now we're taking a little step further, them six actually find four each. Now that would actually take it to £2,000 a month. £2,000 a month. Now if we go back a few things, let's go back a couple of slides here. £2,000 a month is equivalent to having £480,000 sitting in the bank. Now it's a much easier option to go and find some people who want to make a little bit extra money. Now you'll find six, you teach them to find four. If it took you two years or three years to do that, but in the, the way the economy is at the minute, there's millions out there looking for an opportunity. So for an investment at the present time, would you buy a property, would you invest in shares? Now you don't, just don't have to be a rocket scientist to pick up any newspaper to say that's not going to be, not be a good investment. Or would it be a good investment to look for some people who wanted to make an extra money? If you find your six and they find four each, that will take you to that £2,000 a month residual income off your team. 
Now, just for taking one step further, just for a bit of excitement, then them people, the four you find, just find two each. That would take you to a residual income of five thousand pound a month. Now, I think that's exciting. Now, this is a, this is a plan you should be showing to people because it's very very achievable. You don't need a lot of people involved to make some serious money. So, whoever's showing you this, get back to them, and they'll explain a little bit more.